this video we are going to talk about Microsoft Copilot. At a high level, it's a video for beginners, and we are going to explore what it is, what it does, and what are the potential applications. So what is uh, this Microsoft Copilot? So it's an entire concept, it's an entire, uh, basically, artificial intelligence tool that can assist you in your productivity in many of your applications in Windows, in Microsoft Windows. So basically, as I mentioned before, Outlook, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Microsoft Teams were the, the main targeted applications as a starting point. Probably others will come. And with this assistant, basically, this assistant will be available in each one of these applications. Might be a feature that is automatically integrated and you can co-build, co-innovate, and co-draft a lot of things. For example, in Outlook, it can, uh, you can ask the, the chatbot to summarize unreal messages or to summarize an email content, or you can co-write a draft of an email uh, with Microsoft Copilot. In Word, you will be able to rewrite the introduction of a chapter or of a proposal or create a budget proposal with the help of Microsoft Copilot for a research project or for um, a kickoff project in a company. In Excel, you would be able to ask the Copilot to um, analyze data in the Excel file. So basically, you will um, open the Excel file that you have already with all the data, and you can ask the Copilot to analyze them. And maybe you can even ask which products are the more profitable this quarter. And uh, Microsoft Copilot will analyze Excel file and provide you the list of products that were more profitable. Or you can even create a timeline for uh, launching a product. Um, in PowerPoint, you will be able to co-create a presentation. You might be able to basically select some new design to add in your presentation. And um, you will be able to basically cre create this presentation in a few minutes. In Microsoft Teams, you will be able to summarize MIDI notes, or better, the Microsoft Copilot will do it for you. And um, this is thanks also to the transcript of the, the Microsoft Teams. You know that Microsoft Teams, you can um, basically have all the transcript of the recording of a meeting. And the Microsoft Copilot will analyze all this transcript and try to generate automatically a summary of the meeting. So if you don't attend the meeting, you will be able anyway to have a summary out of it. Now, what is the... Um, accuracy of all these productivity <laughs> i don't know and nobody knows at this point in a few months we will know when we'll start using it uh, so probably even in the the summary of the meeting notes there will be a few things that maybe uh, were not catched right in the transcript so a few words that maybe are not right but nevertheless it saves a lot of time a lot of time that you don't have to spend on it so basically it speed up your work a lot so this is pretty much it for the Microsoft Copilot. I will add more links in the description of this video if you want to know more about the Copilot, if you want to start using it and everything you need to know, to know at this stage. So now that you know what it is, Microsoft Copilot, let's take a look of how can you start using it. First of all, you will have to log in with your Microsoft account. And if you don't have one already, you can create a new one. So after you log in, uh, or sign in if you have already an account, you will be uh, redirect to this page in which you can find Bing AI. I already made a video on Bing AI. You can find it in the description of this video if you want to learn more about it. But basically here is the chatbot provided by Microsoft and uh, it uses ChatGPT features or better GPT features. So basically the same features of ChatGPT by OpenAI, because there was a recent partnership between Microsoft and OpenAI, and all the features that come to GPT will be also available in this um, uh, Bing Chat. And Bing Chat is basically, the, the AI service is basically part of the Microsoft Copilot mm -hmm. now. For the Microsoft 365, um, suite, you will have to pay a license. So it doesn't come for free, this update. But here for the Bing AI Copilot, this is basically for now is free or anyway, there is a free version and you can use it for free. Um, you can learn more about how to use this in the video in the description. Uh, but basically, um, 
what I'm going to cover now, now you know more or less what is Microsoft Copilot, I'm going to cover step by step each feature that is available. So first of all, Microsoft 365 Copilot. If you go on this website, I put the link in the descriptions as well, uh, you will see that basically they're planning to add it in Microsoft Teams, as I said before, in Outlook, in Word, in Excel, and in PowerPoint. And in this website, you can find more information about what it is and what, what kind of features are they planning to add. Talking about features, they mention only Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, Word, and Microsoft Teams, but I'm pretty sure they will add it to every application in Windows, basically, the most used applications. Okay, we are at the end of this video. Don't forget to check out the description of this video so you can check out some links about Microsoft Copilot, where to use it, where to download it, where to get more information, but also to check out the uh, other videos I made about artificial intelligence. I will add them in the description of this video. And finally, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you.